Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What are some methods of acquiring ownership of personal property? Ownership of personal property is a cornerstone of modern life. But how does one acquire it? Let's dive in. One common way is through purchase. You pay, you get stuff. Simple as that. It's the exchange of money for goods. You hand over the cash and voila, that new toaster is all yours. Another method is by receiving gifts. It's like the joy of birthdays, but any day. When someone gives you an item with no strings attached, it's yours to keep. Inheritance is a less cheerful yet common way. When a loved one passes, they may leave belongings to you. It's a way to keep memories alive through physical items. Finding lost property can also transfer ownership. Ever found a $20 bill on the ground? Finders keepers, as they say, within legal limits, of course. Don't forget about creating something from scratch. If you make it, you own it. That handmade scarf? All yours, you crafty fox. Trade is the old barter system's modern twist. Exchange something you own for something else. It's a swap, and it's been around since the dawn of time. Lastly, there's possession. If you hold on to something long enough without objection, it might legally become yours. This one's tricky, so tread carefully. Acquiring personal property can be as easy as a shopping spree or as complex as navigating inheritance laws. Always remember, with great ownership comes great responsibility. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.